Good morning everyone. Are you ready for today's lesson? Well, let's start by praying. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day and for the blessing it has already been to be able to wake up in a safe place and where we are still able to read your word. We thank you for allowing us to continue with Junior Church even though it's a little different. We ask now for your Holy Spirit to work in the lives of each of the children watching. May they grow to know you and to love you, to serve you and obey. We ask this in the name of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. So we are up to the letter J. J is for words like jumper, jelly and jug. But there are some names in the Bible that begin with J too. Today we will be looking at a name. I wonder if you can guess which one of the following names it's going to be. Will it be Joshua? Or will it be Jonah? Maybe it will be John. Or perhaps James. Or maybe it's going to be Jesus. You know, I think I can hear you shouting out the name. And you're right. Today, there's really only one word or name we could have looked at, and it is Jesus. So we are going to sing a hymn today because I happen to know it is a favourite for quite a few of you. For the sake of time, we're only going to sing two of the verses, and the hymn we're going to sing is Jesus Loves Me. So are you ready? So let's sing. So last week, when we looked at I Am, we said it was another name for God and that Jesus used it to tell people who he was. Do you remember the word we use when we talk about Jesus being God? It's the word deity. So we know that Jesus was God, but you might have heard us also say that Jesus is God in the flesh. What do we mean by that? Well, Jesus, who is God, became a man. So today, I would like to look at Jesus the man, or we might say, Jesus in his humanity. So what can you tell me about humans or people? We start off as babies and grow up to be adults. We learn, we have families, we make friends. We have feelings and emotions, like being happy or sad, we care about people, we even get angry. Sometimes things are good and sometimes things are bad. So what does this have to do with Jesus? Well, even though Jesus was God, he was also human, which meant he experienced and felt the same things we feel today. So let's have a look at the things that makes Jesus just like you. We know that Jesus was born in a manger in Bethlehem. He had a mother, Mary, 
He had an earthly father, Joseph. And I say earthly because his real father was God. But it was Joseph's responsibility to be like a father to him here on earth. He also had brothers and sisters. So Jesus had a family, just like you do. Now I know many of you go to kinder or school. Some of you may even do those things at home. Even though Jesus was God, in his humanity, he still had to learn things. He was a baby, just like Lily is now. He had to learn how to walk, just like we saw Aora doing, just before we had to start having church online. He had to learn to speak, just like Israel, James and Raphael, who are learning words and simple sentences at the moment. And then there's our kinder and primary group of Grace, Hunter, Lily, Johnny, Vivian and Vincent. Think of all the things you are learning now. Jesus had to learn them too. Luke chapter 2 verse 40 says, talking about Jesus, And the child grew and waxed strong in the spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. Remember, school is not the only place where you learn. You are all a part of junior church. Hopefully, you are learning about God and what's in the Bible. Now, I don't know whether you enjoy learning, but I can tell you that Jesus did, and he thought it was important. Remember when Jesus and his parents went to Jerusalem for the Passover and on the way home, Mary and Joseph couldn't find him? Do you remember where they found him in the end? He was in the temple, learning and listening to the word of God being read and taught. Luke chapter 2 verse 52 says, And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favour with God and man. So just like you go to church, Jesus went to the temple. What about feelings or emotions? We feel different emotions at different times. Every human being has them. So did Jesus. Joy is the feeling of being happy. Jesus was happy. He felt joy. In Luke chapter 10, it says, In that hour, Jesus rejoiced in spirit. That's the joy or the happy part. And said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth. And then he continued in his prayer. Jesus rejoiced here because he was happy that the disciples were going to heaven and that they were able to do the things he had asked them to do. Have you ever cried? Maybe someone you love has moved away or even died. And that's made you sad. Jesus was sad and Jesus cried too. In John chapter 11 verse 35, it says Jesus wept. That means Jesus cried. And this was because his friend Lazarus had died. Jesus also felt things like love and anger and other emotions. I wonder if any of you have felt tired. Perhaps you're a little sleepy right now. Well, Jesus felt tired too. In Mark chapter 4 verse 38, Jesus was asleep during a storm. Jesus even felt hungry and thirsty, just like you do sometimes. So Jesus had a family just like you. He had to learn and he went to church. He had the same feelings you have, like joy, which is happiness, and sadness. He felt things like hunger and thirst, and he also got tired. Jesus was human just like you, and his life was full of things that you have already or will experience. Some were good, some were bad. He had friends, and he had a friend that betrayed him. There were people who didn't like him, but there were people who loved him. Satan tried to get him to do the wrong thing, and others tried to trick him. There were people who were thankful for what he did for them, and there were others who didn't thank him at all. There was a time when people praised him and then there came a time when people lied about him and wanted him to die. He was hit and made fun of. He was spat upon, but he was also covered in an expensive perfume. There is something about Jesus' humanity that is different to us. And that is the fact that he was perfect. He was sinless. He never did anything that was wrong. 
Can you imagine what it would be like to never do or think the wrong thing? Well, that's exactly how Jesus was. Have you ever refused or not done something your parents asked? Have you ever had a fight or an argument with a brother or sister? Jesus had a family, but he never did those things. Jesus didn't complain about going to church, or in his case, going to the temple. In fact, it's where he wanted to be. Have you ever complained about going to church? Jesus didn't get angry with the people who wanted him to be crucified. In fact, he cried from the cross, Father, forgive them. Could you be nice to the people who hurt you? Or would you want to hurt them back? Jesus was fully human whilst also being fully God at the same time. He experienced life just like us, but he never sinned. He was God's perfect sacrifice, who died on the cross, was buried and rose again, so that everyone who believed on him could have their sins forgiven and receive the gift of eternal life. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your Son, Jesus, who came to earth as a baby, experienced life as we do, who grew up to be a man and who, in obedience to your will, gave his life for sinners like us. Help us to remember his great sacrifice and to honour it with a life that reflects his image. Help us to react the right way, just like Jesus did, in both good and bad times. Amen.